Alright, so can we have a huge round of applause for Barbara, please? I think that's insane talent. There are hundreds of communication combinations that he was talking about. Now, I'm going to show you something and that basically has three basic things. And those three basic things, I'm going to get to it in a while. But first of all, let me say uh, thank you for having me here, Sairam. Uh, huge round of applause for the organizers. They've done a wonderful job. I'm sorry that I've been hard to reach sometimes. But thank you for having me here. It's wonderful to be here. I love the campus, love the vibe. Alright, so when he was memorizing it, one of the organizers said, please maintain silence because that, that's what was required. But for what I do, I need energy from the crowd. So, on the count of three, I need you all to make as much noise as possible. Three, two, one. Wow, wonderful audience. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's always nice to have a wonderful audience. Now, dream, then do. Two fundamental problems in this entire concept. I'm going to tell you what these two problems are. I'm going to start off with a small story. So in 10th standard, because it was the last year of my high school, I thought I should increase my popularity. I was already popular. Three people knew my name. I came sixth in the fat boys race. And I think one girl smiled at me in the tuitions. Twice. But still, that was an achievement that time. So, to increase this popularity, to take it to the next level, I thought I should do something. So, I said, uh, I talk to myself a lot anyways. So, might as well talk on the mic and see how that goes. So, I enrolled into a debate competition. I thought, how hard can it be? Worst decision of my life. So, this is exactly what happened. Dear judges, friends, Thank you. Forgot the entire speech. I am not kidding. Forgot the entire speech. So, that was in 2006. Cut to 2009. Three years later, I said, okay, that's the last time I ever went on stage. I should do something. So, I was dreaming of always going on stage. I needed to do something. But, clearly speaking on stage wasn't a strong suit for me. So, I thought, Let's try something different. So I got up on stage in 2009 and I did something different. Basically what I did was... I said, I'm going to get on stage, let's see what happens. And uh, as you 
use of the picture, I got the uh, award from Mr. Rafael Kalam in the paper. So, yeah. So, I can't express my happiness as to if I hadn't dared myself that day, I don't know what would have happened. And it's changed my life forever. And uh, the first problem that I was talking about in dreaming and daring yourself is that once we dream and dare to do and we do it, we stop dreaming. Or our dreams are like, yeah, I've done this already. So, um, what's next? We forget that we can dream more. We should keep dreaming more. Like, even now, as I'm talking to you all, I'm thinking, what's my next goal? What do I dream of next? So, the key, the key aspect of dreaming is to keep dreaming. To keep dreaming bigger and bigger and bigger. So, once, what started off as that's how I started off, because I kept dreaming bigger and bigger and bigger, this is what I can do now. And then, I went one step ahead as well. The 
then a mosquito from a hip hop background sounds somewhat like